we've been talking about um, a thin accretion disk around the black hole and calculating various properties uh, like the inner edge. So here is, an, uh, here is a thin accretion disk uh, that rotates like this or like that around the black hole, but um, the angular momentum of the accretion disk is, is in this direction, this way or that way, uh, and the black hole can be rotating one way or the other. And one can calculate the energy that's radiated at different locations from the disk and uh, determine a spectrum. So a spectrum is um, something like we wouldn't put the luminosity here, but maybe say, the, uh, the well, we could evaluate the, the overall energy generation. So we could say the luminosity as a function of different frequencies, uh, new. So the, the material closer in is uh, more energetic and generating radiation um, at uh, higher frequencies. Uh, the, so we're not going to go into the details of the spectrum of a thin disk, but we'll just sort of comment that it uh, it occupies a certain range. It's something like that. Um, it's called a big blue bump. Um, and so, so we're talking about a thin disk spectrum. And... Uh, for black holes in active galaxies, where the range of, of mass could, it could be, say, between 10 to the 7, 10 to the 9 solar mass black holes. Um, we are talking about emission um, in the inner regions, that w which are sort of in the infrared. Um, sorry, not infrared. Uh, ultraviolet. What I, what I mean here. So the, the higher energy limit doesn't quite get to X-rays, uh, ultraviolet, uh, the lower frequencies further out um, are in the um, optical, they get, they get as low as the optical, um, it's part of the visible uh, spectrum. Um, but there's also believed to be uh, kind of like the sun, a co corona of, of, of very hot stuff that gets heated. In there's a whole theory behind how this material gets heated. It also produces certain kinds of uh, uh, specific emission lines. Um, and here, here we're getting X-rays. So there are ex actually we can also have X-rays from this. These kinds of systems produced not directly from the accretion disk, but from this corona where energies, um, where you can um, enhance the energies. So you get a certain kind of spectrum, um, the spectrum of, of a thin disk. But this is not seen in all active galaxies. So, uh, for, so in ga active galaxies where you can measure, well, sorry, in galaxies like even like ours, where the, the, the you can measure the accretion rate onto the central region, it's um, well, it's, it's below the or well below the Eddington accretion limit uh, by many orders of magnitude. Um, this spectrum disappears, so you don't see this kind of thing from the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Um, emission lines uh, disappear. And so there seems to be a need for uh, an understanding of what's going on with accretion as the accretion rates drop dramatically below the Eddington limit. And the idea, the theory that has emerged over the last few decades involves uh, a black hole and the material is not radiating. So this material is radiating away its energy uh, and various processes are ha happening here and that uh, increase the energies from the from the corona okay interaction between the disk and the corona um, and, and so uh, if we don't have a thin disk and the accretion rates are very low the the density so the, the rate at which uh, the material releases its energy depends on its density if the density is low the material doesn't release its energy 
And as a result, it can't sort of flatten out into a thin disk. Again, basic principles of energy and angular momentum conservation. And so the, the, the theory is that it kind of, material kind of puffs up, rotates around the black hole. And uh, we, we talk about the, the advection, right? The energy is brought in. It's not radiated, advection of energy. So these, these systems are, are very hot. Um, so the energy is held up in the material and, and therefore the, uh, the geometry is, is, is thick. And so we talk about thick accretion disks as opposed to thin disks, thin disks and thick disks. The spectrum is very, is very different. So we talk about the advection uh, dominated uh, accretion flow. And so we talk about A, ADAFs. Okay, so we're going to be making a theory that basically deals with thin disks and ADAFs. Um, and there are, there are other models as well. Um, we'll make a theory that basically distinguishes between these two kinds of regimes.